Cirrus Migrate Cloud is a patented solution created to help customers move data from anywhere to anywhere. This includes within on-premises data centers, between data centers, on-premises to clouds, between clouds, between storage tiers, or between availability zones or regions of clouds, all with the least impact on production operations. In many cases, such as the use case we'll present in this demo, migration and final cutover can be performed with zero downtime. Cirrus Migrate Cloud is block storage array agnostic, giving customers a single tool for all their block data migration requirements. This short video will demonstrate the Cirrus Migrate Cloud migration as a service platform migrating AWS EBS volumes on an AWS Windows 2019 VM over to NetApp FSX ONTAP storage. Although this demo covers this specific scenario, we should note that CMC also provides the capability to perform online duplication of a live workload across hosts, AWS availability zones, locations, and even across AWS accounts, and can be configured for other use cases apart from migration. For example, CMC can be configured in a data protection scheme where multiple hosts in different AWS locations all replicate their storage volumes to a central location where FSx ONTAP is deployed at scale, thereby creating a larger deployment of FSx ONTAP with a better price-to-performance ratio. For this migration, an AWS Windows 2019 VM is using an AWS EBS volume. The goal is to migrate data from the AWS EBS volume to a NetApp FSx ONTAP volume without any downtime throughout the deployment, migration, and final cutover process. The migration is managed using Cirrus Data Solutions CMC portal in the cloud. So first, let's log into the Windows host using Windows Remote Desktop and prepare for the migration. The first migration step is to get the AWS Windows VM to register and appear as a project in the CMC portal. We're now logged into the CMC portal using our account. Here's a list of projects that have been created or projects that the logged in user has been invited to by other project administrators. Let's create a new project by clicking on the Create New Project button. Here we see the name of the project, the owner, and basic information on the project. Here we'll enter a project name, a short description, and click Create Project. Click on the newly created project to open it. Project details and license information are listed here. On the left are the items related to this project, such as Project Overview, Migration Hosts, H2H Connections, Migration Sessions, Integrations, and Project Settings. You can invite other users to help manage this project. Now let's discover the Windows VM. Click Migration Hosts. As you can see, there are currently no existing discovered hosts in the CMC portal. Click here to get the one-line installation command to add them. We will install the CMC agent on the AWS VM. Click the Windows tab and copy the command. Note that the command contains a project ID, which allows this command to be used by any hosts that are due to be migrated with this project to register with this project. Here's the remote desktop console for the Windows VM. Open up a PowerShell session in the RDP window. Paste the copied command and run it. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute for the registration to complete. There is no user interaction necessary. This command can be remotely executed using Windows management tools or other software deployment automation tools. While this is running, let's launch Disk Manager in Computer Manager in the remote desktop window. The disk to be migrated is Disk 1, which is formatted as Drive K, K in the Windows host. To simulate a live workload, let's start Iometer to put some I.O. on this disk. Here we can see the disk is now active with I.O. and the registration has completed. Now at the host window, we can see the AWS Windows VM. The first step is now complete. The next steps are to enter the information for the FSX ONTAP, and then create the migration session and auto-allocate the target storage using the integration plugin for NetApp FSX ONTAP. We will now browse to the AWS Management webpage, open up the FSX Cloud Manager portal, and we can see that there's an existing FSX root volume present. 
The required destination target disk will be automatically created by the CMC integration for FSX later. When using the FSX integration, there's never a need to manually create destination disks, nor an iSCSI initiator group. If MPIO and iSCSI are installed on the host VM, CMC will automatically configure these settings. If necessary, even the deployment of iSCSI drivers and multipath drivers on the AWS Windows instance are automated by CMC. MPIO can then be activated at the final cutover at a later date with minimal disruption. To enable the FSX integration, click on Integrations, then Goodies, and locate the FSX integration. Click Add and enter a descriptive integration name, the server address, credentials, and then verify the connection by selecting the Windows VM from the deployment box. The new integration will appear under the Enable tab on the integration page of the CMC portal. Now click Data Migration to open up the Migration Sessions page. Since there are no migration sessions yet, click the New Migration Session button, select the Source Windows Host, and click Continue. Click Local Migration. Select the option to migrate data volumes only. Click Continue. A list of all local physical drives is presented here for the source host. Select Drive 1, which is an NTFS volume with the label Drive K and the drive letter K, then click the Auto Allocate Destination button at the top right. Select the integration AWS FSX ONTAP. Once all the remediation steps have been completed, click here to allocate the new target disks. Now a new iSCSI volume is allocated on AWS FSX. A new iSCSI initiator group is created with the AWS Windows 2019 instances iSCSI IQN. The new LUN is then mapped to this initiator group. The Windows Disk subsystem is rescanned, and the new disk now appears as Physical Drive 2, and it's paired with the source AWS native disk, Physical Drive 1. A new migration session is configured from the native AWS Cloud VM source Physical Drive 1 to the AWS FSX ONTAP disk Physical Drive 2. Click Continue. Now we will continue creating the migration session by entering some information, a short description of the migration, and the periodic sync interval, and then the impact level with the IQOS setting. IQOS is Cirrus Data's intelligent quality of service. It automatically throttles back the migration when the source volume becomes more active and opens it up when the source volume is less active. We can choose minimum impact, moderate impact, aggressive, or relentless. For this migration, we'll pick moderate. Click Create Session to start the migration. Here is the dashboard to let you know how the migration is going. It shows the source NTFS volume physical drive 1, migrating to the newly created FSX target disk, Physical Drive 2. We can observe the migration progress and the host details. We can also see changes, migration rate, and the remaining data left to synchronize. After the initial sync is complete, every five minutes CMC will perform a resync. Now we're waiting for the synchronization to become 100% complete. Monitor the migration session screen. When the status becomes tracking changes, the initial copy is complete, and we can proceed to the next step, which is C-Motion. Synchronization has now reached 100%, and the session is in the tracking changes state. In this state, migration is paused, and a dirty map is maintained to track the block level changes. When it's time to cut over, the next step will be to trigger C-Motion, causing the workload I.O. to be swung over to the target storage. Click Session Actions and select Trigger C-Motion, and wait until the status changes to C-Motion. In this mode, there are no more updates to the native storage, but a dirty map is used to track block level changes, so that if it becomes necessary, it is possible to revert C-Motion back to the source. The ability to C-Motion to FSX ONTAP and back again to the native volume makes it possible to perform a test cutover using C-Motion and observe the performance and other capabilities of the new storage to confirm everything is working properly. 
If additional adjustments need to be made offline to the new storage, the workload can be transferred temporarily back to the source while the new storage is being reconfigured, and then we can see motion back to the new storage again. In addition, we can clone any snapshot for recovery here. A clone is created using the snapshot and will then be mapped to the target disk using iSCSI for copying back any deleted file or for standing in or replacement of the production copy if it were to be found totally corrupt or locked by ransomware. This use case is for migration with zero downtime. Right now, we're still in CMotion and we're still tracking changes. So let's go back to the remote desktop window and observe that the new volume is showing I.O. Optionally, click Session Actions, Revert CMotion, and observe that the FSX ONTAP volume no longer has I.O. If you reverted CMotion in the last step, we have to trigger CMotion one more time, and then we can go on to finalize the cutover. So let's perform the final cutover. Click Session Actions and select Finalize Cutover. Now the final cutover can begin. At this state, the volume is still accessible by redirection to the target disk. No new changes are accumulating at the source because all the writes are immediately redirected to the target disk. At this point, migration is complete, and the host application can continue to run indefinitely. The goal of moving the workload to the FSX ONTAP volume is achieved without any downtime. This is possible because CMotion redirection transparently uses the FSX ONTAP volume to emulate the EBS volume. If, however, there's a scheduled or unscheduled reboot of the Windows host, the CMC agent will detect this condition and will no longer use CMotion for redirection. Instead, the destination storage will automatically become the production volume, and the original EBS volume will be locked and no longer accessible. We'll proceed to demonstrate the future transition of running the workload on the new storage without redirection. We'll shut down the source application, which in this case is Iometer. Then we'll bring the source disk offline. This triggers a final flush of the disk cache, and the flush data is delivered to the target disk. Now we can delete the migration session, so there's no more redirection to the target FSX ONTAP volume. This is the equivalent of a planned or unplanned reboot, which disables the redirection. Now we'll perform a rescan at Disk Manager, and then bring Disk 2 online. The application continues to run on the new FSX ONTAP volume without redirection. This completes the demonstration of online migration using Cirrus Migrate Cloud end-to-end -end from deployment to migration to final cutover all without downtime. What we've just shown is you can move block workloads from any cloud block source to AWS FSx ONTAP cloud volumes in Amazon AWS while the applications are running with no application impact and with zero downtime. CMC can also perform remote migrations fully data reduced and encrypted and with no downtime or with minimal application downtime at final cutover when migrating to a remote destination. This patented solution is key for everyone moving to AWS FSx ONTAP from any native AWS EBS volumes.